Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my little corner where today we're not only going to open BoxyCharm BoxyLux from September, we're also going to use my Morphe Me package from September as well as my rewards and really quick because I forgot completely 100%. We're gonna see what ear flick earrings I got this month at the beginning of the video because I forgot and I feel like it'd be weird just to be like, oh yeah, by the way, yes. So ear flick is a subscription where you pay $3.49. They send you a pair of earrings every month. You can get it half off if a friend uses your link and I've been pretty satisfied with it. Let's see what we got. And they sent the gift cards again. That's so cool. I love this. These I will put in my Nadine West giveaways that I have going on. They're like surprise giveaways. If that hasn't happened yet, look out for that. Watch the Nadine West videos. But for the earrings, we got some cool ones. I don't even remember voting on these, but I kind of go through those voting things. They send you like once a month. You to vote thumbs up or thumbs swipe left, swipe right or something on the earrings, whether or not you like them. I don't remember voting on these, but they do always come in a nice little package. And these are kind of cool. They definitely match my necklace today. So let's go ahead and pop these in. Oh, they're like a rose gold. I thought they were like gold gold. Those are so cute. Those are so neat. It's like a little ring with, is it three little sticks that dangle down of different sizes? It has some good movement. It just looks cute and not too big. I absolutely love these earrings. And I really love it when you guys hang out with me and get ready. So if you've got boxy looks from September, boxy charm, or you've got your Morphe Me brushes from September, or you just want to hang, let's get ready together. All right, my loves, it's Saturday morning. I'm feeling kind of bare. I've got my Boxy Lux from September from Boxy Charm. I also have Air Flick and Live Glam behind me as well as a couple rewards I got for Morphe Me. My face is looking a little rough. I feel like I babied her. I don't know what's wrong with her lately. It just looks, I don't know, like a little lackluster. It doesn't feel dry or anything. Like I don't have any dry spots. I just feel like, where did my glow go? And it's Sunday 9.15 when I'm filming this. So, hey, it's like f fairly close to the time you guys are watching it. It'll be next weekend. I don't know. So, Boxy Lux is another $25 if you have Boxy Charm already. So, it's about $50 a month. You get it every three months. It's not a steady thing. So, if you have Boxy Charm and you upgrade to Boxy Lux every three months, you get a bigger box, cost you more. You guys get the drift. The link is down below if you guys want to use it to sign up, but keep in mind if you have friends at BoxyCharm, they may want you to use their links, so just keep that in mind. Because we generally either get a freebie or a ton of rewards points, which can be used in their charm room, which I really haven't seen anything lately that I want. I have like $30 to spend in there and just, I don't know. I thought we would wait on Air Fleek until we were completely done with the video, but I thought we would start with Morphe Me, which is a subscription by Live Glam. So this is my subscription package right here. September's month is all about the eyes. So it's quite a few brushes just for your eyes. And then I've got a couple rewards here too. So I just wanted to go through those with you guys. Okay, so let's start with my rewards. The very first reward that I got in was this bad boy and I've been dying to look at it. I didn't want to take it out of its little package and like fully, I don't know. I like waiting on you guys. I, I feel like we can be excited about it together if I can get it out of this package. So this weekend we really didn't do too much. Um, Yesterday we did a little bit of shopping and we went and looked at countertops again. I feel like I've looked at so many countertops. Okay, so this is a Super Shock by ColourPop. It is quite a bit darker than what I normally um, go for, but I lost all my Super Shocks for ColourPop. So I figured if I was going to get one for free, it was worth going for with a darker shade. This is Hot Tamale. And if you guys haven't tried their Super Shocks, I feel like I need to say this. The pan does not go down far. You're not getting this much product. It's just a little pan on top. So keep that in mind because when I hit pan on my Super Shocks, I was like, what the heck? A little swatchy swatchy of that shade. Very pretty. It has some like copperish undertones in the in the shimmer as well. It's really pretty, so I will use that same because I have been using some darker shadow on my eyes lately. Caitlin will be proud of me. So that was the first reward that I got. Um, I mean the ColourPop shadows are a fairly decent price, so that was a pretty good deal. And then the second reward I had to fill around. Which package has less in it? Um, so with Morphe Me by Lip Glam, they have Lip Glam has three different subscriptions. They have Shadow Me, Lippy Me, and Morphe Me. 
um, or if you mean you get Morphe brushes. You either get, I think it's like three to five brushes or three to seven brushes depending on, you know, like how much the brushes cost. I've always found really great value in my Morphe Me subscription and I've learned how to use so many different makeup brushes thanks to it. The second reward that I got is the M106 Unique Pointed Dome Brush. I like powder brushes and I was hoping this is a powder brush. Okay. This I think I would use to like blend out. It's a little stiff so I feel like I would use this to blend out like my bronzer after I go too crazy with it. So we'll set that aside today and try to use it. And then our September Morphe Me bag includes Hopefully a way to open it. <laughs> I've been doing Morphe Me for quite a while. I actually planned on pausing this month and then I saw the brushes that we were gonna get and I was like, that's a lot of brushes and they're kinda cool. I want them. So I did not pause this month, obviously. So this month's theme is Cloud Nine. Um, it says, ready for a getaway? Buckle your seatbelt because you're getting six eye brushes to create stunning looks. The <laughs> looks. <laughs> That'll get you upgraded to first class plus a window seat. Blending with these brushes from our September Morphemi collection will always make you feel like you're on cloud nine. And then it tells you to take a snap and post it on Instagram using the hashtag LiveGlamFam. It is three to seven because we got six brushes in here today. Six freaking brushes. So that's why I was like, um, yeah, let me keep this. So I'm not gonna read these off to you guys right now. I figure we'll do it as we use them if there are any that we don't use. We will go over those in the end. And now that I have my Morphe Me mess cleaned up, I think it's time to jump into Boxy Lux and let's see what we got. I know there'll be a few items that we won't be able to use, which is okay. We'll move on from that and I'll try to use them before this video goes up. That way I can give you guys some um, information in the description box. September's box is a really nice size box. It's not super duper heavy. Um, it's more of a rectangle shape than a uh, square. So anyways, I don't know why I felt like that was important information. There you go. So this month, we actually got to choose one of our products. Um, they had the Tarte palettes that you got to choose from, as well as the Too Faced Natural Face Palette, which I already have. Ooh, so I chose the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette. I had this before the fire. I'm so excited to have it back. We're definitely gonna use this today. I'm gonna sit it aside for now, but that does retail for $45. The next thing that we have in here is the Violet Voss Essential Eyeshadow Palette. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be, looking at everybody else's pictures, and maybe possibly after holding the Too Faced Now and Then Palette. Oh God, it's huge. Um, this thing looks a little small, but Violet Voss generally gives us pretty good pigments, and this palette does pack some gorgeous, gorgeous shades. That gold and that emerald are calling to me. I love terracotta, cinnamon and dusty rose are my jam, sand, cream. I think pink are, is really the only color that I probably won't gravitate towards, but the whole palette, I feel like that those are definitely, oh, okay, maybe Plumberry too. I didn't see that one. But other than those two, I feel like this is my kind of palette. Like somebody created that for me. So I absolutely love that. We will use that today as well and that retails for $29. It does have a mix of warm and cool tone shades. So we're barely into this box that cost me $50. I already have $74 worth of value in my hand. Let's keep on moving. One thing that we obviously won't be able to use today because I've already curled my hair is the Sutra Beauty 32 millimeter clipless curling iron with cool tip. If you guys know me, this is basically, I, I wouldn't say it's the only curling iron I use because I do have two straightening irons. I also have a jumbo with a clip because sometimes I like to rock it 70 styles when I'm going all natural hit with my hair. And I just kind of flip out my hair. I do like kind of figure faucet, isn't that? Isn't that who used to do it, just the flip out? Um, so I have one of those, but this is, I guess, my most used curling iron. It's one of these wands, basically. This bad boy retails for $65, so boom, we could have bought another box for that amount. It says it's perfect for beach waves, glam curls, soft or tight curls, even ringlets. The top of the curling iron has a ceramic heating element and it's infused with a titanium polished barrel. I love it when curling irons come in a way to carry them. I'm running out of my tag along bag space, so this is nice. I'm just gonna check this out. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to use it today because I already curled my hair, but, whoa. I mean, that wand honestly looks bigger than my other one. Maybe it's one and a half, or one and a quarter. This is one and a quarter, it just looks bigger. Okay, maybe my other one's a one inch. 
Either way, I will definitely use this throughout the week. We just have a normal on off switch, so it obviously just goes to one temperature. And then we got a little catalog that tells us all about their other products. They have some hair serum, they have shampoo and conditioner, a mask, they have all kinds of wands, travel sets, blow dryers, they got it all. Okay, we still have a few more products in here, some of which we cannot use today. So the first of which is the Dr. Brent Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. I've heard so many good things about this. I cannot wait to try this. I love any kind of like mask that you just sleep in. I've said it before on my channel. It's just the easiest. It's not the hugest size. It is 1.7 ounces, but this bad boy for this amount retails for $52. So I'm assuming that it's perfection in a bottle. A hydrating recovering sleeping mask that balances skin's naturally occurring flora and locks in moisture overnight to reduce redness and soothe the signs of irritation. So that's great. Maybe that will help me get my glow back. We will set that aside and I'll let you guys know what I think about that. The next thing that I'm going to go ahead and pull out, and I'm excited about this because I've never gotten to try IGK, it is the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. I got to read about this because I've never tried this before. It just says it's a leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh your hair down and it retails for $29. Again, this is another product that people were going nuts for, but if I'm honest, the most exciting skincare hair care product in here is... And this is the product that like I was hoping and praying for. Like the other stuff I was okay if I got something else, but this one, this is what I wanted. It is the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. You had me at Sunday Riley and then again at Water Cream. Um, so basically this delivers an intense water drench with two forms of hyaluronic acid and uh, tamarind extract. So your skin looks youthful, hydrated, and plumped. Papaya enzymes soothe and exfoliate while alpha, why do I read this if I know I'm gonna hit words that I can't pronounce? Arbutin visibly brighten the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots, which I really, really need. Everything I've read about this, it's supposed to give you 24 hours worth of moisture, but everything I've read about this is just supposed to be amazing. What do we, I say we use this as our moisturizer today once I get this cap off. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside because we only have two more products I'm gonna pull out tell you the price of. That Sunday Rally retails for $65. And then we have two more products. We have the Hank and Hen Henry Blickety Black Eyeliner. I love that name, Blickety Black Eyeliner. It retails for $20. It's a vegan formula. It's supposed to dry down to a satin or matte finish. I like barely tilted it and heard that. It sounds like a pin. That's crazy. It's also supposed to be transfer resistant. So I'm really excited to try that. $20. And last but not least for our lips, we have the Stila Slay All Day Shimmer Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina Shimmer. I feel like somebody said Patina was their favorite color. I don't remember them saying Patina Shimmer. So I feel like this is like the shimmery version of that. It looks really pretty. It retails for $22. I don't know of anybody who doesn't know something about this formula. It's pretty much awesome. It stays all day, doesn't dry out your lips. I just don't know about the shimmery. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a try though. I'm not sending back a Stila. I'm not selling a Stila. We're gonna use this. And my boxy lux is empty with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this over here and let's get started. Finally, 20 million minutes into the video, let's put some makeup on. I knew it was going to be like this and quite honestly I thought about pulling my Ipsy over here too because it kind of filled in the gaps of what we were missing with this palette but man that's so much to go through I just felt like okay I'll just do Ipsy its own video I'll do Allure its own video and say La Vie it's like blue I did not bring a mirror over here out of all the things I'm gonna forget today you would think I would remember a mirror I'm gonna go ahead and keep that little cap on there. I think it does do a good job of keeping your moisturizers, if it comes with it, of keeping your moisturizers nice and moist without drying out and keeping their potency. And this feels amazing. <laughs> like cooling. Wow. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. And it does feel very moisturizing. It feels like a water, I feel like some water creams, I'm like, you're a moisturizer, you're not a water cream. Just say you're, a moisturizer. Water creams I feel like need to feel like I've just drenched my face 
with water and that's what this feels like. Sunday Rally is pretty amazing. Uh, we got another Sunday Rally. I think it was an Ipsy. It's the one that's in the orange tub. It's really nice. I use that almost on a nightly basis. It's the vitamin C orange thing. That feels so nice and it's going to look so good in my cabinet right beside the other Sunday Rally one that I have. So love that. Love, love, love. So excited about that. Since Violet Voss is so pigmented, let's do my eyes first and then we'll come back and do the rest of my face. So I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys in. Do you guys like my friend shirt? I got it, I think on Amazon. I was trying to remember. Was it Amazon or which? And then I'm like, oh, it came in in a timely manner. It was Amazon. <laughs> I'll link that in my fashion favorites if you guys do want to give it a try. It's super comfy. Like, it's just t-shirt material. I'll try and put a picture up on the screen, which will basically block my face. Maybe I should get out of the way. Put a picture up on the screen of, like, my little outfit today once I'm all done. So you guys can see. Can I, I, I'm really just wearing my yoga pants again, so I apologize for that. Let's go ahead and conceal my lens. I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Light Beige like I forgot I had this baby and <laughs> that I don't have a mirror okay I'm not gonna put too much on and I'm gonna use my Morphe M536 just to blend that out Obviously, I have a lot of Morphe brushes since I've had Lip Glam for so long. And even before that, I was purchasing Morphe brushes because I heard so much about them. But it's been really cool, like, getting to learn how to use these bad boys. And as far as Violet Voss goes, I have had, I think, two of her palettes before the fire. I don't think I have any right now. I mean, I do now. You know. Oh, so the house. They are going to inspect the drywall, or not the drywall. <laughs> They're going to inspect the insulation Monday, so tomorrow, and then Tuesday they should be able to start on drywall. So at almost all of the quartz places we wanted to go look at are granite and quartz places. We're looking for quartz, but anyways, um, we're basically closed yesterday when we wanted to go, so now tomorrow I have to change my schedule and be back in time so that me and Chris can go and check out different prices we basically know what we want we just got to try and find it the cheapest we can find it all right so to start with my morphe me collection from september i've got my m453 crease blending brush i'm gonna go ahead and start with that it is very long it's very stiff i wonder how this is gonna work out i'm gonna start with the shade i really want to try dusty rose but i feel like for this look because i I don't, <laughs> I have a lot to film today, so I want to stay kind of neutral. I feel like this, 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 but this is a liner. It's kind of boring. It's kind of like what I normally, ooh, okay. Tell you what, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, maybe we use terracotta, but I don't know. Oh, okay. We're going to start. With this, go in at this at the outer crease and do this on the lid and just deal with it. And then I'm gonna do probably this in the inner corner. How cute would those look together too with that on the lid? There's so many good combinations here. It's really, really hard to decide, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm starting with sand. This brush definitely picks up the Violet Ball shadow really, really good. Uh, let's see how it applies. really really pretty though okay so I'm gonna stop there with sand and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a different brush as well I'm gonna grab the E21. It is the Deluxe Angle Blender Brush. A wonder worker for small areas like the corner of the eyes. So in the pig, oh, that is so cool. I've never had a brush that's shaped like that. Do you guys see? It almost looks like my elf brush, but it's more oval shaped than a circle. 
That is cool. Okay, we're gonna try that in cinnamon. Just lightly dab that into cinnamon, tap it off. That is so cool. This is why I love my Morphe Me subscription. It introduces me to so many neat brushes that really help you do what you're trying to do. So I'm just gonna place this one with the E21 and then I'll go back and blend it out with the first brush that we used. I have a really bad habit of blocking my face when I'm trying to show you guys my makeup. I'm gonna set that brush down. I'm gonna go back to my M453. Just now notice that my camera stopped. I am using my Morphe M408 and just placing that gold color on the lid. The brush is doing such a good job. It's actually meant for a lower lash line, like to do this, but it's actually doing an amazing job with the lid shade. Um, and I love this shimmer shadow, like so awesome. And then we have this brush right here, which is the M461 Duo Jumbo Crease. So I'm just gonna use this to kind of blend out what's going on up here. Okay, jumping away from the palette for a second, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Hank and Henry Slick With It, is what it says on the side, uh, Blickety Black Eyeliner. I absolutely love the packaging on this, but it's all about the tip, baby, yes. Yes, everything that I saw, um, it looked like the tip was nice and fine like this one is, but really it matters how it goes on the eyes. It's supposed to go a little matte. Oh my God, is that a dream? Do you guys see? It's going on so nice and easy. Nice and pigmented. And it's got such a nice tip. <laughs> yep, digging this. I fell in love with Hank and Henry's liquid lipsticks too. They smell delicious, if I remember correctly. They're super cute. It's a little owl. Not gonna attempt a wing with this. I think once I finish my face, I'm going to use my black and my Violet Boss palette and wing something out that way. Okay, it is time for my face and pull you guys back out. So really, really quick, I'm just gonna grab my Anastasia Golden Stick Foundation. In the shade golden. Stick foundation in the shade golden. <laughs> I was gonna sunless tan today, but then I was like, you know what? I can get more done if I just go ahead and start filming. So I jumped in. I normally will tan on Thursdays. So that way I'm good to go for the weekend. That way if I film or do something fun, and to blend all that out, I'm using my Morphe M446. And I will say, like, my foundation went on so smooth. Like, the stick just glided on my skin because I still have that Sunday Riley water cream on. Like, it's still, it's absorbed into my skin, made me feel moisturized, but still left a nice base for my makeup. Although, I'll probably, I tend to use stuff like that more at night. I like using my Glam Glow, my uh, Matte Glow, and my Luminizing one um, underneath makeup. It smells so good and like I can really like smell my face throughout the day. That sounds weird. I can smell my face. I don't know. It just smells so good. It feels so comfortable. It smells so good. <laughs> And it really does hydrate my skin. I mean, it's Glam Glow, so. All right, it's time to throw on some concealer really, really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Born This Way concealer again. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my M536 again.
And if I remember correctly, there is a setting powder color um, shade in here. So we might use that in the Tarte Princess palette. <laughs> you put princess in the name of the palette, honey. I'm going to want it. I'm just saying. I feel like my shimmer shade is already transferring up, but we'll deal with that later. I'm just going to go back over it with my foundation brush. Let's see. I feel like there was. Let's see. So here's the Park Avenue Princess palette. I've had this before. I loved her once before. And I shall love her again. She is so beautiful. I love this palette. Like, it's like a brick of gold. It's just so gorgeous. And then inside we have Halo which is a, has a pink undertone, Enhance, which is like a setting powder, and then we have all of these bronzers, Crown, Angle, Princess Cut, and Carrot. Um, Angle tend to be my favorite, as well as Princess Cut, and then I use Crown and Carrot more of just like up here in this area to give me a little bit of shimmer to bounce off of my highlight. So I think I'm going to start with Halo underneath the eyes, and then use Enhance all over the rest of the face. That's what we're going to do. So to pick up Halo, I've got my Morphe E49. I'm just looking at the brushes to see what we have left, and I think we can use those. Okay. Oh, I miss this palette so much. It's so nice because you can pick it up and do everything you need to do. It's got this huge mirror on it. I love it. And this Halo shade really does brighten up the under eye. I'm gonna use my Morphe PK14 to pick up Enhance. I might even kind of mix it with Halo. That's what I used to do. I used to just grab them both and just kind of, that was my setting powder. It's a little hard to get your big brush in those little pans anyways. I mean, they're not little, little pans, but you know what I mean. All right, we are set. Let's do my brows because I cannot stand to look at them any longer. I'm just going to do something nice and quick. I've been using the far out of this lately. It's by Vivify Salon, which is where I initially used to get my lashes done at. Um, it's in the shade medium brown and it's just like a brow powder. I feel like I'm putting eyeshadow on my brows, but hey man, it does the job. I'm going to grab my Morphe PK45. Yeah, 45. I'm just going to pick up some of that brow powder on there and just brush it through my brows and then run over it with a spoolie when I'm done. It's super duper fast. And I went at it with way too heavy of a hand. Like immediately I was like, oh, gasp. We will fix it. I hope. I still can't believe how full this makes my eyebrows look. It's just powder, it's crazy. Although I don't really like sculpt my brows. I'm really just trying to fill them in and work with what God gave me. <laughs> you know, might as well for one thing on my body. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and try this new brush, M423 Flat Definer Brush. I have several brushes like these. I feel like I'm constantly looking for them, so I guess it's a good thing I've got another one. I'm going to pick up, let's do black so that we can wing it out. So I'm just going to start with kind of a tight line on my lower lash line. Do that on both sides. And now I'm going to create a little wingy wing. And I'm just going to smoke out my upper liner line, just a little. For mascara, I'm going to use my Buxom Mascara today. I feel like I'm going to grab one of my Buxom liners too that I haven't gotten to try yet. They're the plumping lip liners. Um, I don't know. 
I've been trying to not use the same mascara every day, not use the same eyeliner every day, and really see what I think about these products instead of getting stuck in my own little ruts. We didn't get to use one of the Morphe Me brushes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and show it to you guys. It is the E38 Bent Liner Brush. I have liner brushes, but I don't have any that are bent like this, and I feel like it really will help um, get that liner on in a nice straight line without making my hand feel uncomfortable. It's got this little tubey thing on it to keep it safe and bent. It feels nice and strong. It looks like it would go on really nice. We could have used that with the black. I guess I can grab some of it. That would have been really nice to smoke out that lash line with. That would have been really easy. So you could use it with cream products as well as powder. That's cool. Now we got to use all of the Morphe brushes. There are wrappers surrounding me to prove it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dive into my Park Avenue Princess palette and bronze things up a bit. I'm gonna use my Morphe Y11, which is one of my favorite brushes to bronze with, and I'm gonna pick up Princess Cut. Oh, it's so pretty, guys. This is a gorgeous palette. It really is. And Tarte's products smell absolutely amazing, too. So if you haven't gotten a try them, I highly recommend it. I feel like everybody and their mama has tried Tarte, though. Um, I would say if there's any complaints about Tarte, it's that they are more of a natural, neutral makeup brand. It's very rare that you see, like, crazy colors in their palettes. It's Most of their palettes are a natural palette. I feel like I have a couple of the Rainforest palettes, and I really feel like you have one, you have them all. Um, okay, now I'm going to pick up Crown and just show you guys. When I put on a shimmery bronzer, I tend to keep it really, really high up. And I will blend that out. I'm not going to leave it all cray cray like that, but yeah, about right there. And then I'm going to pick up Angle really quick just to bronze up my forehead. I picked up way too much of it, but we're going to deal. And to bronze up the neckline so we can use as many of these as possible. Then for my nose, I'm going to pick up my e.l.f. angled contour brush, pick up princess cut, and just apply that to the usual areas. Ooh, we still need to go back and put that pop of white in my inner corner. That's fine. So I feel like Princess Cut is definitely the lightest of them all. Um, Angle actually had a lot more pigment than I remembered. Hence the brown forehead. I am dying to blend, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my Wet n Wild Big Poofy Pac-Man brush and blend that out. I may need to grab another brush because it's like, yeah. I'm going to grab a more stiff brush, my Y1, which I cannot find on Morphe's website. What the heck happened? Where's Y1? Where are you hiding it, Morphe? I was going to order me another Y1 and Y6, and I could not find my Y1, so I got frustrated and was like, well, I can find another foundation brush. I love the gold series, but I can only find it like as a whole set, not just the Y1 by itself. So if you guys happen to see it available, let me know. Alrighty, guys, jumping back into the Violet Voss palette, I'm going to pick up Cream, which is our almost uh, light champagne color, nice and shimmery, and put that in the inner corner. Oh! That is stunning. That's so pretty. I usually like to try and marry my inner corner with whatever is going on on my lid. And really, really quick, I'm going to grab my Sugar Blackout Intense Eyeliner and just put that in the waterline. This is amazing for waterline. It stays all day. Keeps things nice and dark. I like going back and forth between a natural eye and then like a dark eye. I'm trying to put it up in my inner, in my upper waterline, but I find it so hard to a certain point. Once I get next to my pupil, I'm done.
So I just feel like it really, really darkens up any eye look if you're really, I don't know, I'm wearing a black shirt. I feel like I wanted to go a little bit more black with this look than I had. And I feel like we did get bronzer worked out, right? It looks a little bit better. Okay, since I didn't bring anything over here for highlighter, I'm gonna jump into, I think this is called Paradise Palette. Anyways, the one with the pineapple on it. And I'm gonna pick up Bandeau, which is that shade right there, and use that as my highlighter today. Using my Farrah brush, it's so pretty. I wanted to use a Tarte highlighter since we used Tarte bronzer and such. And I didn't grab a blush either, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Slaycation. And try not to go crazy with it. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> then I'm gonna blend that all out with my Y1. Try not to blend it completely away. <laughs> so it appears that we are down to lips. I do have these, and I really wanna try one of them, but I'm worried neither one of them are gonna look good with this. So I'm gonna go with the lightest one, which is Stealth. I got Stealth and Undercover, the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner. I don't really understand how this works. It's got a little brush on one end. I think that is to help you smooth out the liner if you wanna use it as like a lippy. I didn't know though, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna try it though. We're gonna use it as a lip liner today. It's a very fat pencil. trying to slightly overline my lips. I feel like I'm just not good at it. So I think this brush is meant to like blend down your lip liner. Okay, so now that that's done, we'll go ahead and try the Stila's Slay, Stay All Day, Slay All Day. Stay All Day Shimmer Liquid Lipstick. It is very, very pink. It does not go with this look. I'm gonna use it anyways because I'm wild like that. Yep, yeah, this is going to Bells. That, I don't know, I just don't, I feel like it looks like Barbie lips, you know? Like, I don't like a metallic lip very much, but I feel like Bells would rock this. So I'm gonna probably put that aside for her. Ugh. Yeah, not my favorite. Um, I'm gonna take that off, actually. So I'm gonna start with a darker shade this time, Undercover. It's supposed to be brown, it's a dark looking. We'll try this. And then we'll do the nude on the inside and then maybe throw a gloss over it. And now we'll try it with the nude shade in the middle.
And then for lip gloss, I'm going to use the Disney Designer Collection by ColourPop. It is bippity. It's just a nice um, shimmer, like a golden shimmer. Brought all that to life. Alright my loves, so that is it. That is today's look. Really quick, I want to total up and tell you how much my BoxyCharm would have cost me had I bought everything individually. $50 for this box. If you think $50 is too much, just know that I got $327 worth of product in my box, baby. Yeah. I am so excited to play with all of this stuff throughout the next week. Um, I'll let you guys know in the description box what I thought. Morphe Me is amazing. This package was pretty cool. I got to try some new brushes. Like this one just completely blew my mind and I feel like this actually might be really good for my nose contour as well. The Morphe E21. Anyways, this week was just really fun. I appreciate you guys allowing me to share not only one but two subscriptions with you during my get ready with me. So thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out. If you guys want to try the subscriptions, the links are down below, but honestly, you being here is enough. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I'd love to see what looks you put together while we were getting ready today. If you got boxy looks, send me your looks. Send me a message on Instagram. I would love, love, love to see. So if you guys liked today's video or you like my look, please give me a big old thumbs up down below. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing before you leave. We have lots of giveaways going on this last week. So they're up right now. Make sure you check those out and good luck. Another thing that I really love doing on my channel is just saying hello to my new subscribers since you guys join me. So Ashley Margrits and Lysandra Cuvas. I think I got those correct. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and for being my buddies and for getting ready with me and for just being you. Thank you guys. I guess that's it guys. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I will see you today Saturday. I will see you guys on Monday. Until then my loves. Bye.